one draw against reigning MLS uh, Cup champions in LAFC at home. How do you guys feel about the result? Um, uh, I would say I think we maybe left a little bit out there. We had some good chances. Um, had a lot of had a lot of good plays out there. Played some good football. Um, gave up a goal, which I know we're, we're going to want back when we look back on the replay on that. Um, you know, I think we're, we're we're getting into a decent rhythm, but you know we got to start getting three points at home. Um, give the fans a performances and the points that we, we know that they want and deserve. But um, I think we can look back and take a lot of positives and learn, you know, from the goal and a few of the chances that they might have had. But I thought we created a lot of good pieces, a lot of good, a lot of good plays and had a lot of good pieces out there. Um, it's just a matter of putting them in the back of the net and rewarding ourselves for a lot of the good play I think we had. So, Eric, your opinions on how the uh, team has played over the last two games? Yeah, I think it's a lot of good stuff. Um, very different games <laughs> when you look at it. You know, one of them we, you know, I think had sub 30% possession, defended really well in a tight block, and uh, generated some, some goals in the counterattack. Um, you know, this one I think we had a little bit more of the ball, actually a good chunk more of the ball. And I think we played some good football out there. It's just a matter of, again, rewarding ourselves for, for that, right? Um, you know, not leaving goals out there. Um, but that, that's going to come, obviously, you know, Pookie's just getting his feet under him and we've got some new pieces that are getting their legs back. Um, Ray's always dangerous as ever, it's just a matter of us as defenders to stay organized and to, to keep the guys in front of us going and to give them the best shot to, to, to win the game for us. Pretty start studded attack for LAFC, but you guys kept them mostly under wraps tonight. What was the plan coming into this? What do you do differently at a game like this versus another one? Um, I think first and foremost being aware of all the quality they have. Um, you don't win an MLS Cup for nothing, right? Uh, Boanga has been in really good form. Vela's Carlos Vela and uh, Buke and all those other Casi Fuentes and Kellen are all um, spicy in their own way. It's just a matter of being aware of them during during plays and also when they have the ball, right? Um, being as close as possible, not giving them time and space to make decisions because they are good players. Um, and I think that we also force them to defend and defend some of our players, right? Because we have a lot of good guys as well. Um, and for the most part, limited them to, to a lot of good chances. Um, obviously, we come away with a draw, and I think that on a different day we can beat them at home and then reward again, reward ourselves for the performance we put in. So, Kamar is back. He's normally the, the lineup on the last left back. Jurgen has been performing really well. How are you feeling as a left back? I know it's, you feel a little bit rusty. You've seen a little rusty in the first half, but now I think you're really For sure. Yeah, I think the, uh, the Austin game, I was getting my feet under myself. It's a little bit uh, of a transition to go on the left. Um, I appreciate it. I think I've been doing pretty well. Um, and just putting pressure on my teammates, right? Ultimately, all I can do is go out there and try to perform the, the best I can. I got a lot of incredible players around me that put me in good spots. Um, I played a lot of games on the left, so it's nothing too too different for me, obviously, you know, there's a little bit of acclimation in terms of opening up, playing certain balls, but um, I just want to help my team out in, in any way possible and try to continue to try to perform well and, you know, give the uh, coaching staff some difficult decisions to make and, you know, I'm ready if, when, when called upon and, you know, I think I've put in some good performances and helped the team win and, you know, I'm ready to play as long as I, as long as I can, as long as I need to. I feel physically, I feel fantastic. But um, ultimately, that decision's up to the gaff and, and the staff to, to put you know, the players in the field in which they, which they think it up to the most. So, sorry, is, is this annoying for you having Adrian all the time yelling at you or hearing him yell and everything? Or is this funny? No, no, it's, I wouldn't say it's funny or annoying. I think it's just, you know, gaff you know, is trying to help us out. And sometimes they see plays a little differently. But um, for me, it's a little bit, uh, it's nice because I've had coaches overcoach and over talk to you in terms of, uh, exact decisions to make, right? You know, I've had coaches say, hey, take the ball forward, Cruyff, play it back to this guy, play here, play there. Now, Adrian Moore speaks about certain ideas, and that's, um, for me, refreshing, because at times, you know, when a, a, a younger coach or a different coach might try to want to play for you, joystick you too much, then you might overthink certain certain moments, but Adrian doesn't necessarily do that. So for me, um, you know, I enjoy um, just being on the pitch and trying to help my teammates out fighting and battling and scrapping it up. You know, for me, that's what it's all about. And I think we've, you know, gotten back to our roots a little bit in terms of, you know, getting out there and being difficult to play against. Again, it's just about rewarding ourselves and, for me, enjoying the moment on the pitch and helping my teammates out as best as possible. Team is one week until uh, the inaugural League's Cup begins. You know, how do you guys look at a month-long tournament, but also knowing that uh, in a month's time you'll be back to playing, you know, the regular season and everything? Is it, a, is, is it difficult to kind of comprehend a mid-season tournament? Is it exciting? Is it bothersome? What is the... What is the feeling as a, play, as a player going, it's in a row your campaign? It's new, um, but I think ultimately it'll, it'll allow us to potentially 
um, go out there and challenge ourselves in different ways. Maybe see some of the new guys that have come in, allow them even more games to get in, to get in shape, to get 90 minutes sharp. Um, when it doesn't necessarily count in the league. That doesn't mean that we're going to um, tinker too much and want to throw these games away just to get some fitness or whatever it might be because we still want to win. We're still competitive. Um, and to me, winning's a habit. You know, that's something I was preaching in the Kaiser Slaughter game is, you know, whether it's a friendly or not, winning's a habit, good performances are a habit, good tendencies, um, you know, those are, those are habits that we want to continue to keep um, within the group and to keep pushing forward and to try to, to, to sharpen up as much as possible. So when the league does resume, I believe on August 20th when we're in New York, which is going to be a very tough game, um, you know, we're even sharper than we are right now. So for me, it's exciting to play different opponents. Um, obviously, League MX, those games will be a lot of fun. Hopefully, we, and we have two at home, which is really nice. So for me, it's exciting to play something different, um, different competition, different feel. And um, I'm looking forward to, again, you know, seeing the sharpness of our team continue to grow and then hopefully get some points in that tournament and then transfer that into the league a little bit. You know, it's another home draw. The team's still sort of hovering around the playoff line, but Adrian's optimism is really good. The mood in the room seems very good. What do you think that's based on? I think it's based on just, you know, the sheer performances. Even, you know, obviously the Austin game was not good if you look at it as a whole, 4-1, but up until they scored the first goal, I think we generated a lot of chances and put ourselves in really good spots to take the lead. And if we take the lead early in that game, I think that game looks a lot different than 4-1. Um, so that, you know, piggybacked on a good performance in Houston, um, very different from tonight and very different from that game against Austin. I think there's a lot, a lot of positives to go from. We just need to get a little bit, um, I would say a little bit, maybe not sharper defensively, but just a little bit, you know, 90, 95, 97, 98 minutes tuned in to limit them as much as possible and to kind of get back to, you know, the way we defended a little bit in Houston. I think that was who we are. Um, limiting chances, stepping out, being tough to play against, being physical. Um, you know, that's who that's who we are and that's who we want to pride ourselves on being. And, you know, we're, we're, we're progressing in a positive way, which is good. We have to just reward ourselves, right? We put ourselves in some good spots. We just have to reward ourselves with points and reward the fans um, for all the hard work that we're putting in. So, blip in a moment. What do you go back and look at when you see that goal? Or when you, you know, what happened on the pitch? Um, I mean, it's one of the ones where you expect the, the midfield to, to deal with it and then um, I mean, there was, I don't know, the number seven or whatever, kind of dropped into the hole and, and, and played it through. Valor ran off, um, I think he ran off Bukai, and then, I mean, I, I'm there. I yeah, kind of didn't make good enough contact on the ball to get it back to Dane. Um, and then you give someone of that half his quality, they're going to finish those chances. So, I mean, it's just one of those split second turnovers that we seem to be giving how we give opportunities to other teams I think where other teams don't have to, to work as hard for their goals and then we it's probably one of the better goals we've scored and this, definitely this year and maybe um, in recent memory I think yeah we're having to do so work so hard and do so much to, to earn our goals but then we um, it's just kind of like switch off and, and gift uh, other teams' goals, and I think when when we go behind, when we're chasing games, it's, it just makes it difficult. I think when we're ahead, when we're able to to be disciplined, keep our shape, and then um, kind of exploit teams on the counter, that's that's when we're we're really good, especially at home. On the results sheet, uh, home draw looks like more of the same, but the optimism among the team seems very good. What do you chalk that up to? Um, I don't know. I mean, it's it's a game. I think we should still be winning. Um, I think the. Everything was there, the performance, we had enough chances. Uh, I mean, outside of the goal, I'm trying to think how much work did Dane really have to do. They had, obviously had some um, some breaks where they kind of shot, shot straight at him, but I felt like we, we dealt with their threats pretty well for most of the night. Um, I don't know, I've, I, I think it's, again, it's we've dropped so many points at home. It's, it's, it's kind of shocking um, that we, yeah, we can't we can't keep doing that. So sorry. <laughs> so from I think everybody from outside feels the difference with Ray on the field. Mm -hmm. Do you guys feel it on the pitch too? Oh absolutely. I think when you have players that are comfortable on the ball under pressure, um, you can just trust them to, to play the right ball at the right time and it allows us as a back four to get forward, I think. Yeah, Ray he's he's such a difference maker for us and um, and I think Looking back to, to Wednesday night, when you see players like uh, Ishmael kind of come off the bench, and he's a similar player, I think. He's comfortable playing with ball at his feet. He takes the pressure off, can beat a player, but then also has that willingness to get him behind. And I think 
when you have those more of those sorts of players on the field, it just gives everyone else time to, to squeeze up the field to possess the ball in the opposition field, uh, opposition half, um, and just yeah, let us let us get organised and catch our breath. And I just think we're a better time, for sure a better team when when he's on the field. He's one of the best in the league. Tomorrow marks one week until the 2023 inaugural League's Cup begins for you guys. Mm -hmm. um, but as things stand, you're one point out of the playoff line. Mm -hmm. Is it, you know, is it on your mind? Is it bothersome to know that you have a one-month break uh, when you guys have been working towards, you know, your league form, and you don't go back to, you know, playing that league form, or is it just pure excitement for a brand new tournament, uh, knowing it's going to be, you know, the next month is where the primary focus is. Um. Honestly, I haven't even thought about this competition. It's, I mean, it's, yeah, we've got, we've got a few days and to, to prepare. Um, I think it'll be interesting to play teams from other leagues. Um, but, I mean, we, we've kind of put ourselves in a position where I think we're, we've dropped more points and should be in a better position than we are. Um, but, I mean, in the last couple of weeks, I think we've, we're still coming together, finding our way, and I think um, I'm comfortable that with the, the games in the league, we, we still have a head. I think we're, we'll definitely be, be able to push ourselves high up into, into the playoff spots. I think this, the Western Conference is it's how it's been the last three, four seasons, where you win two, three games in a row, you jump four places. Um, everyone kind of beats up on each other. Uh, but. We're not going to be able to do that if we if we continue to, continue to, to drop points at home. A couple more from Michael. You talk about this home form. Uh, you guys have the group stage at home for the League's Cup. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, it doesn't you know uh, partake to league form or anything. But is it going to you know maybe help you guys get back on track with getting those results at home and you know knowing you have a string of matches upcoming here? Uh, it certainly should. I think when when we have our crowd behind us, it's I mean how we kind of came out tonight. That first half was super positive. I think. Uh, the way in which we were able to, to move the ball up, like play through them fairly easily, um, get Ray on the ball in, in dangerous areas, get Bonky flying forward. And I thought Hassani was, was excellent when he, when he found space in those pockets. Um, yeah, so I think playing at home is definitely a lot better than playing anywhere else. So, um, yeah, we'll, I don't know how, how this draw worked out, but we'll take it. Last one for Michael. Speaking of things you probably haven't thought of, the World Cup starts this week. What does that coming to New Zealand mean for soccer in New Zealand? Oh, the, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, it's. I think it's awesome. I think any time you get to to host these these sorts of occasions, it's um, you know just the able to to get more exposure to to countries that um, maybe don't get as much football as. As, as they can. I think uh, we're yeah, obviously a small growing country, but any time we're trying to watch the, like for me growing up, trying to watch the European leagues, you're waking up at 2, 3 in the morning, but then for some, some young girls to, to have some of the best players in the world on their doorstep, it's, it's a pretty cool opportunity for sure.